officers in a major American city have been given the authority to use remote controlled robots that are capable of using deadly force in emergency. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Emergency situations. CBS's Jeff Begay's reports there was vocal opposition to the plan. San Francisco police are assuring the public that robots armed with explosives would only be used sparingly. If we have somebody who's uh, shooting, killing people, a sniper, etc., we're going to do everything we can to stop the threat. The city's board of supervisors voted overwhelmingly in favor of the idea Monday night. But those against it raised ethical concerns and cited the impact on people of color. you got to recognize they will be disproportionately used against black and brown communities. For the last decade, the militarization of police has increasingly been a concern. In 2014, heavy weaponry in Ferguson, Missouri, sparked a backlash after Michael Brown's fatal police shooting. Armed robots are part of that debate. Currently, there are more than 1,000 robots and unmanned vehicles in use by police departments, primarily by bomb squads. The policies in cities like San Francisco could clear the way for an expanded use of robots as weapons. He's down. One of the first such incidents happened in 2016 when Dallas police deployed one against a suspect who had gunned down five police officers. In a statement today, San Francisco police acknowledged that it does not have a specific plan in place on when to use armed robots. If we get to a point where there's uncertainty about who is responsible for the ultimate death of the individual causing whatever chaos they were causing. That is where I think it, it would be problematic. In San Francisco, this policy will have to get another approval from the Board of Supervisors next week, and then it would have to be signed into law by the city's mayor, London Breed, a Democrat who has expressed her support for this proposal. Nora. Those robots are like out of a science fiction movie. Evolving technology. Yeah. Jeff Begays, thank you.